Mr. Carraway? He's still here? What part of no doesn't he understand? It doesn't matter, just uh, send him in and I'll deal with him. Happiness is a myth. We are pleased to present the California premiere of Talk About the Passion. The show was written uh, and first produced in London. Uh, Graham Farrow is the playwright of the script. He's a, an amazing writer that we're really excited to have been working with. Um, David Colwell and I, the dramaturg, have been talking with him a lot about making the script specific to Southern California. This play offers no easy answers. One character is seemingly very frivolous and very selfish, but at the same time she works very hard to make a life for herself, which is something that all people should be able to do. The other takes the, the law into his own hands, which is not something that is legal or, or moral. Um, but at the same time he's gone through very tough times. The, the play challenges, uh, it's been challenging for the actors, for everybody involved, but it also challenges the audience to make difficult decisions under difficult circumstances. Well, the real challenge of portraying this character was really getting under the skin of a man who has nothing left in his life. He's lost his family, his friends, the respect of his peers, um, and, you know, really he didn't think he had that much to begin with. You know, and so to get under the skin of this man to walk the minefield of how far he's willing to go to get even with this editor. And because like the audience, I don't think he knows how far he's going to go until he gets there. My character is so focused on um, money and success that the pain of the people she's exploiting um, isn't, she doesn't come face to face with that until this, the encounter that happens in this play. Um, I had to kind of find her perspective on things and how she justifies things to herself and to find the good in her. When you watch this show, you don't root for one person or the other, you root for both of them. You know, you want me to get even, but you also want her to escape. And it's a show that really explores the gray issues of this very complicated and unexplored topic. The play is engaging, it's tremendously well performed, and it's one of the most theatrical, intimate plays you'll ever see. This play never lets up. We step on stage, 70 minutes later, the tension finally recedes and we can breathe again. <coughs> How can anybody read about someone else's misery and enjoy it?